What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Savage. Much love to the Savage family. Thank you guys for tapping in and rocking with me. Always much love and respect. Let me clarify that. Hope you liked the video today. If you do like the video, be sure to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. When you hit, when you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so where you guys can be notified of uh, future content that I drop. And if you don't like it, hit that thumbs down, baby. You know how we do it over here. Ain't no hate in my blood. You can have it, take it, whatever you want to do. It's open for the community. Now, with that being said, I've been wanting to cover and talk about this or at least update the content on this because when the Elote things happened, I was one of the first ones to, to cover it, react to it, you know, speak on it with my platform and utilize it to help, right? And a lot of other people did and a lot of other people got way more things accomplished than I did. So much love and respect to you guys, you know, for handling business and doing what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I did the best I could do and I, I publicized a lot of things and some things I kind of regret publicizing um, because it really generated so much ignorant negativity, right? I'm not asking my viewers and you guys, the family, right? I'm not asking y'all to tap in and and have a narrow mind. You guys should know me better than that. I don't even like that kind of stuff. If you guys are going to tap in, I'm, I'm expecting you guys to have an open mind and think outside the box over here. You cannot be in a bubble. You cannot have your mind stuck in some kind of fish tank thinking we're going to get somewhere. The truth about the situation is it's real simple. We're not popular. We're not trending up until recent, recently, like this year, last year. And it's crazy that in such an ugly year, such a foul ass year, you, you are starting to see a lot more Latinos mainstreaming it uh, on social media with these bigger platforms. And it's cool, man. I'm very proud of my people, man. I'm very proud of our culture and we're putting it out there. And, and, and that's what I told my girl, man, because my girl's Italian, right? <clears throat> Italian and Polish and stuff. And uh, she supports the culture. She's, she's so in love and so, so on the team that she sees herself as a Mexicana, period. She, she rocks with that culture, you know, she rocks with the culture, she identifies with me because that's what I am. So I got no choice but to fly my flag just as high as I've always flown it, you know, not for just her, but for my son as well. We're not trending, you know what I'm saying? We, we're not popular, you know what I'm saying? People don't like mariachi music. They don't like the way dress, they don't like to dress up like mariachi people, you know, unless it's for their little gimmick for a rap song and, you know what I mean, and it's funny, whatever. Uh, growing up, going to juvenile hall, foster homes, jail, prison. So I've experienced so much racism from every other race. I'm not even saying this to lie, waste you guys, waste you guys' time, um, or take you guys for for a lap. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. I've experienced so much racism by every racial group. Maybe not by Asians. You know what I mean? They they low key. They they face it too. But to be honest, like, by Americans, I think, like, America has this funny way of disassociating with Mexican-Americans. And because Mexico is so close, right next door, because Mexico literally is the next country over and there's so much bad that comes from there and drugs and guns come from there or whatever, maybe, I don't know where this negative um, association and connection came from my whole life, man, but... Everyone has always had a crazy undertone of racism against my culture. That's just the truth, man. In some cases, it was not being taken serious, that making jokes of us, or, or I've even gotten in a fight when I was in a foster home one time um, with a black from a PJ Watts because he had the nerve to look at me in line and just straight up flat out tell me, F Mexicans. I was like, what? I looked at the homie from uh, Paxton. I looked at the homie, looked up at this fool and lit him up, fired him up. He was a big old tall motherfucker too, but I don't know what he thought. I don't know what he thought, but he he, he spoke what he felt because that's that's the way a lot of people really feel. So how do we make ourselves not, not so much as popular? How do we make ourselves more respected? You got to protest. You got to protest. You got to speak up. I'm going to speak up, man. Any injustice done to somebody from my culture, ethnic, you know what? If I got to go full-on activist, full-on campaigning, then that's what it's got to be. Because at the end of the day, it's the most frustrating, frustrating thing in the world to be so deep in America, yet so quiet, right? Like, if, if we was as loud as we are in numbers, like, if you, if you, uh, 
converted the numbers of how deep we are over to how strong we could be and how much of a bang we could make, we'll make American soil shake. You know what I'm saying? We'll make it shake. But it seems like what we have, when we get people in, in positions of power, you know, they almost identify as Caucasian. I've seen it amongst correctional officers. If you look at politicians, Marco Rubio and all these other dudes, like, if you didn't know any better, it, they're almost identified completely with Caucasians. And if their skin color is a lighter complexion of brown, it's even that much easier to, to just lose them amongst an, a, a Caucasian identification, right? We need power players who can get up to those positions and let it be known and established. I'm brown, I'm Mexican. You know what I mean? This is what this is what I'm about. Just like just like we had Obama, you know, because you're black. You can't there's you can identify as much as you want with the white man as much as you can, but you can never you can never escape your complexion. You can never escape the fact that this is one way and this is one way. You just can't do it. So that's the kind of same approach we need to take and establish because unfortunately Sometimes you don't see that. Sometimes you see when people get up there and they, they, they're in these elite circles or in these positions or it's like we're, we're willing to conform to what anybody else has got to say or just brush it off our shoulder because it, it, does, it wouldn't benefit us to speak out or make waves. But that's what the black community did. You know, they spoke out against popular decision. You know what I mean? They spoke out. They kept that main agenda regardless if it was popular or not. Regardless, you know, they stuck together, banded together, and now look at the movement. Look at their movements to, in today's day and age. Look how far they've come. They were they were not always wanted by people, not liked, talked about, discriminated against forever. And now look at where they stand. Because they stomped their feet, they waved their flag, and they did not take no for an answer. They demanded respect in the face of adversity. They demanded respect when it was outnumbered. They demanded respect at all costs, at all times, and they always stuck together. Always. You cannot attack someone's culture, ethnicity, and race and expect for that to be okay or accepted. But when it happens to us, all too often it is accepted. So people ask, why? Why are the Latinos not the most popular or the most respected or the most um, considered? That's the word. Why are we not the most considered? Huh. Maybe we just a little too quiet. I'm sitting in a jail cell, sitting in a pod, a couple black inmates, a couple white inmates, the rest completely brown. That's where we strong. That's where we strongest is in jail and prison. That's where we run it. Why do we run shit in prison? Why do we run shit under those circumstances? Should, that should go to show you how strong we are. But as a collective, it seems like the only place we can stand together and stand about some shit and have these kind of values of our race, loving our race, loving our culture, is in prison and in jail. Celebrating ourselves, whether you're Mexican American, whether you're just straight from Mexico, Paisano, whatever. Think about that. Why do we run shit in prison? Why are we the top dogs in prison? But not on the streets. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Much love, much respect. It's your boy Sav. I'm out.